Hey guys, you have McGann, and what I have here today is a collection of, they're called like Disney Fairy Tale and Disney Folk Tale Collector Limited Edition Dolls. This is the first time I've ever purchased the full set of five of them. Uh, they came in one giant box this uh, afternoon. I mean, this box is like just shy of five feet long. I can't even fit it all on camera. This is just, I don't know, it's its ginormous, but okay, I've ripped off the packing slips, and now let's get into this big behemoth jima because I'm sure I'm never going to get something like this again. It just went a little nuts, and unfortunately, this set is not selling out as much as previous sets, but you know what? Maybe that's okay, because I am not a scalper. I am not a reseller. I am actually a collector. I have to walk around the bed to get to the other side. It's ridiculous how big this is. And I'm here on my own, so I don't have anybody to play cameraman. Sorry. All right. Oh, my glob. Put my handy dandy tweezers back on the desk. Okay, that's nice. I like that these are all, I don't know if you can tell, let me look. Yeah, they're all like packaged individually, so that way extra protection, which is great. And if it's like previous years from what I've heard from other collectors, all of the numbers on the limited edition uh, cards will be the same. So, um, so this side up. So I don't know which side to start with. I'm going to start on the other side because reasons. All right, come here, baby. Hopefully these are all in good shape. If not, you will hear profanity, the likes of which you may have never heard before. Come on. My gosh. They don't give these a, even a little bit of extra room. This is in here tight. Ah, I don't know if I can get it in the middle. All right, or if I can get it from the end here, let's try the middle. Okay, the middle slid right out, so that's good. They do not seem to identify anywhere on them which ones they are. So let me just pull these out in order, maybe. Let's see, is that in camera? Yeah, that's good. Let me pull these out and then I can open them in the order I was gonna open them a minute ago. Two, three. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't bought tons and tons of these. I mean, there's probably a few dozen different series they've released. Um, I got all of the sets from a couple of years ago. Oh my goodness. When they had um, like the couples. I had like the Cinderella, Mulan, Sleeping Beauty, Anna and El no, Anna and Elsa and Hans, Anna and Kristoff, Tiana with Naveen, and Pocahontas and John Smith. Because I miss Rapunzel, so that's kind of why I went nuts to get this. I wanted to make sure I got Rapunzel. So I'm gonna guess. Ah, I'm walking through the tape and you can't even tell. All right. Trying to keep it on camera as best I can because these boxes are again about 14, 15 inches tall. Oh my gosh. I really kind of expected to open the big box and just see them all barely sitting in there. They like to mail the bigger designer dolls that way where it's just like no room in between. All right, come on. Almost got ya. Oh, I think I got the Little Mermaid side first. It looks like this is the front. All right, I'm gonna guess this is Little Mermaid. Okay, I hate turning these sideways and upside down, but I don't know how else to get this out of here. Jeepers. Yep, Little Mermaid side. Whew, that is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. That's heavier and bigger than the last ones. 
Let's see, where can you guys see it? Okay. Yes, this is part of the fairy tale series. But since Trident is not her uh, lover, <laughs> thank goodness, not her lover, they do it, I guess, with a different name. But yeah, these are huge. And then you just... What I like about the uh, smaller, almost Barbie-sized dolls is that they... Come on. They come in their own display cases. Come on, baby. Whew. Yeah, that was much lighter. I should have just picked it up like that. But yeah, that's sort of the uh, cover slip. But ah, uh -huh, halo light. Okay. There's, yes, King Triton. I love these 3D angle boxes that you can see everything. King Triton and Ariel. Oh, he's got a cape. I'm looking at this through the camera lens, so I'm not having the best uh, attention rate. Oh, there's Flounder and Sebastian. But I will say the disadvantage of getting these online is like, if you look at Flounder, you can see there's some kind of like marks and stuff on him. I would not have chosen that one, but it looks like... Looks like everything else is how it should be. And, oh my gosh, number 56. 56 of 6,000. Oh my gosh, if they're all that low, I'm going to lose my mind. That would be amazing. Let me do the cover slip again since the light wasn't on last time. I'm sorry for the really weird angle. Um, not sure if I can really fix it. Let me try. Let me try. Let me make a bigger mess of things. Okay. Yeah, that's probably better for this point now that we've got the actual thing open. Right. All right. So here's Ariel and Trident. I'm going to set the slip cover back here so I can do a final thingamajig showing all the dolls at the end. So you come over here. I'm gonna guess this one will be Moana then. Assuming they pack them in order. The thing is, if you pre-order the entire set, they will not ship it to you one at a time. They ship it to you all together, but not until the last doll releases. So since there's five dolls released two weeks apart, you know, you order it 10 weeks in advance. And since it was like my birthday coming up, yeah, that, I bet you that's Moana. With, no, wait, I bet that's 101 Dalmatians with the paw prints. Let's find out. Oh, I hate turning these upside down. Oh my gosh. Yes, 101 Dalmatians. Boxes get on the floor. Okay, so. I'll take the slip cover off because that is so much easier to do. Yeah, and see, these are called the folk folk tale series, not the fairy tale series. And I imagine that just has to do with the story. I wasn't really crazy about this 101 Dalmatian themed one, but I thought the puppies were cute and I really wanted the Rapunzel and kind of wanted the Ariel. I've never gotten an Ariel designer, so come on. Let's get on there good. Tight. All right, let's scoot you back. And here's the slip cover. The top we already saw with the little paws in the corner. Looks like it's the same on all sides but the back. And again, this box is a lot bigger than the other boxes I've gotten with the designer couples. So, oh, okay, it's got them all named. Corella DeVille, Pongo, Perdita, and puppies. Oh, and puppies. <laughs> I guess all the puppies are not named after all. So, slip cover box, get in the back. And, oops, come on, light. <laughs> Cruella de Vil. <laughs> the light kind of works with her. Um, let's see, how can I angle that? And then here's all the little puppies. I see Patch, Rolly, Penny, uh... I've kind of forgotten the other ones over the years. Gosh, I hate that light for this reason. But yes, there's that. There's Cruella. Nice, lovely side view of her very fur-lined uh, coat there. 
I don't think they ever said what it's made of. Yes, this one's number 56 too, which means they should all be that. That is so low. The only other lowest number I've got compared to that is like 200 and something. But oh my gosh, in the top 100, that's like insane. Which doesn't actually mean anything different, but collectors really like to have in the top 1,000 when it's something like five to 8,000 deep. All right, where are we at? Okay. Um, all right, so since they're random, I guess we'll just keep going down the line, find out what we find out. Because Ariel and Triton were the last ones released, Corolla Deville was the first one released, so that's why I know they're out of order. Oh, this has to be Moana. That has to be Moana, right? See the little corners and all the, the, the line where the sky meets the sea? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh my gosh. There's no packing material on any of this stuff. Yes, it is Moana. All right. Box. Away with you. Okay. Then these. Oh, this is another one where it says Folktale series at the top. Can you see that? I can't tell. Can you see that? Yes. Folktale series. Because Moana isn't a fairy tale. Oh, come on, you're killing my abs here trying to pull this off. I am not strong. I love the art on this. It's really <laughs> like extra gorgeous. You see the like, hey hey down there and all the, I want to say, Kakamora? And the top again with the corners. And it does look like it's the same on every side except the back. So we'll just look at the back. I believe on the back, I haven't stopped to read it. Yeah, it just talks about the series of dolls, not the actual, what each doll is herself. Okay, now I do have like the 17 inch Moana that matches this outfit. But, so I wasn't gonna get this one and that's why, but you know, as you can see, she is gorgeous. I really wish this light would be more cooperative though. Oh. <laughs> Look at the little guy back there trying to go for her booty. There's like the king up there too. It's so hard to get it very well with the light. But then if I turn the light off, it's not good either. See, now you can't hardly see anything. All right, so sorry guys, but yes, this big heavy giant case, it's as big as the other ones. Oh, her paddle is really detailed too. That's what I really liked about the uh, 16 or 17 inch Moana. She's got the Maui autograph on it. Oh, that's gorgeous, though. I love it. Okay, I'm glad I got them both. All right. Oh, I like the little drummer. You can see him down there. Yes, drummer, drummer, drummer. Okay, that's Moana. There's two left. Come on. Come on. And if you guys like this video, leave comments, let me know, because I've got other dolls that I can show you that are not, um, they're already like out of the Disney store box, but they're in their cases and everything. I can show people. And, oh, Rapunzel, I think. I saw purple. That's usually Rapunzel. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, there's a thing going up there. I don't know what that is. It's not, it's like a scuff. It's not super serious, but again, that's a, that's a reason I don't love buying these online over the Disney store. But unfortunately, from where we moved, there is no local Disney store. This might be, oh no, this is Rapunzel. Oh my gosh, my cats are going to have a box city at the end of this. Oh my gosh, this is the one I wanted so bad because I missed the Rapunzel and Flynn designer couple from like 2012, 13, something like that. Okay, okay, here's the big reveal for me. Oh my god, this is like the one I can't wait for. Come on, off, 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 oh. And I just, I kind of love everything about this. <laughs> 
fairy tale series. I'm surprised the corners don't have the uh, Corona roses, but I guess uh, you get what you get. Back. So flippin' cute. All right, ready? Dun, 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 dun. How can I get up in this business? Oh my gosh. That is so gorgeous. I love her little dress. I love the little flaps on it. There have also been 17 inch Rapunzel's, one in the purple dress, one in the wedding dress, but I missed both of those. It was before I had the money to buy dolls. Oh, Pascal. But, oh my gosh, look at the detail work on the dress. Oh, and it's layered at the bottom. That's gorgeous. And I am so in love with how her hair wraps around Flynn. The chair is so nicely detailed. The only thing, I'm not sure if I like these little cardboard cutouts that they're putting in everything. That's a little bit bizarre for me. But, let's see, sorry, trying to keep the light out of the way and trying to look at the same time. <laughs> We're both seeing this together for the first time. Yeah, the guys usually have plastic hair. Uh, King Triton is kind of an exception to that rule. I don't think any others, not even like John Smith or anything, have had uh, real hair. Oh, and there goes the loudest mint in the world. Oh, I don't think I checked Moana to see what number she was, but 56, I can't believe it. Oh, the bases are different too, I just noticed. The, uh, here, I will show you. 56, yeah, the, the pattern on the folktail series is different than the pattern. Oh, you guys are so much bigger. Different than the pattern on the uh, fairy tale series. All right, last one. It is going to be Robin Hood, which is the first time that Robin Hood has been part of the collector series. I do prefer the couple dolls. So this was one I was kind of on the fence about, but we'll see how I feel about it seeing it in person because usually when they show you what they're gonna look like on the blogs and online, they don't do the doll justice at all. So fingers crossed. Come on now. I lost my tweezers somewhere in this. Somewhere in this parade of boxes. Well, oodle lolly, oodle lolly, to golly, what day. Oh, that's cute. All right, same method. We're just gonna let it drop out on its own. Last box to the side. And that has the fairy tale pattern on it. Yep, it says fairy tale at the top. Oh, how cute. And again, it's the same on the sides, and the back is the only thing different. Robin Hood made Marion. So pretty. Okay. All right. Last cover. Come on. I have this thing like up off the ground. I don't know if you can tell, it's like up off the bed. And this case slipcover thing is just so on. All right, I already showed you that, didn't I? <laughs> that's why, and that's why that one felt so heavy. I was holding the whole thing. Okay. Okay, how can we get, oh my gosh, like that dress is a lot prettier than I thought it was. I love the embroidered stars and the, the whole like swirly design of the shooting flippy stars. Oh, I love her, uh, what is that? Her wedding hair dress piece. <laughs> I don't remember Robin Hood that well. I'm going to be honest here. They actually have, if you can see a really good amount of detail on their uh, paint job and their, how they're kind of carved out. I know they're plastic, but I guess carved out of the original resin model. Ooh, there is like a loose thread inside there and I'm never going to be able to get it out. That's going to make me nuts. I do not like to open these up and tinker with them. So how can I, yes, behave. There we go. That kind of, kind of. Oh, look at the little fuzzy tail. We gotta get back here for Robin Hood. He's got his hat, his uh, feather in his hat is plastic, so is his hat. His arrows and his quiver have really nice detail work on it. I'm trying to get it the best I can. And his fuzzy little booty. Look at that fuzzy little booty. <clears throat> and, oh, 
<laughs> Maid Marian has her tail peeking out, but you wouldn't notice otherwise unless you were looking for it. Mm. Yeah, see, and if you look at the uh, cardboard up here, it's a little bit like bent forward. Like it should not be like that, I don't think. But it's all been minor damages. I haven't noticed any broken cases or, you know, hairs all torn up or anything like that. So I'm usually pretty good to let it go with that. I'm not gonna call Disney and complain or try to return it or anything because these are actually non-returnable. So unless they're pretty damaged, there's nothing you can do about anything uh, sort of messed up inside of them. And these actually have not sold out yet, but I was afraid they were. I was afraid I wasn't going to get my Rapunzel, so that is why I bought the whole set. But let me get up here. We've got Little Mermaid and Trident, Corella de Vil, Moana, Rapunzel and Flynn, and Robin Hood and Maid Marian. That is awesome. I wish Moana would have spelled under it what those little guys are called, because I can't remember exactly. But, uh, that's, uh, well, I guess let me put all the slip cases and then we'll go through all of those too, because why not? We've already been doing this for like ever, it feels like. Fairy tale, fairy tale, oh gosh, now I'm going to walk through the wall of boxes I made. Ah! Uh. Cruella de Vil. Shoot, and I lost one more on the other side, so in just a moment. Slight technical difficulties, we're getting there. Come on, more on a box. All right. And you can also buy limited edition lithographs with the artwork that they put on for the boxes. And I think it's like $40 to get five or seven, something like that. So if you just really like the pictures and don't want to invest $130 per doll, then you can do that too. It's a much cheaper option. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching all of this. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you like seeing the doll stuff, let me know. I've got tons more I can show you in the Disney limited edition dolls. Oh, I ran out of breath there. But anyways, thanks. Bye.